My name is Elias Lobin. I'm an expert and dealer of authentic ancient Greek, Roman, Biblical, Byzantine coins and artifacts. I run a website called trustedcoins.com where you can not only learn about ancient coins and artifacts, but you can also have access to my store which has over 6,800 items at the time of the filming of this piece. Every item I sell comes complete with a gorgeous certificate of authenticity. This certificate of authenticity comes with a lifetime guarantee of authenticity, my signature. I've identified over 28,000 authentic ancient coins and artifacts over the years. And every coin that I sell comes in a professional flip. So you see this flip? This is a coin, a silver Roman coin of Emperor Augustus. Authentic, ancient and certified authentic for a lifetime. Uh, that uh, preserves the coin for generations to come. You can take this part off from the certificate and it has a number that matches the certificate with a short description of it. Every description I make many times cites a major reference or collection and in the back you get the historical context of the item that you purchased. So if you're brand new to the collecting field, if you want a systematized way of learning about ancient history, this is a great way to buy, collect and learn. Also I believe this makes the greatest investment because most people don't even know this stuff exists. So today I'm going to be reading the biography of Roman Emperor Licinius the First. Licinius the First looked like this. This is Licinius. Licinius the First. I have many coins of Licinius the First in my store. Just search for Licinius, or go to the appropriate page and make the search. Licinius the First was Roman Emperor from 308 to 324 A.D. For the majority of his reign, he was the colleague and rival of Constantine the Great, with whom he co-authored the Edict of Milan and granted official toleration to Christians in the Roman Empire. He was finally defeated at the Battle of Adrianople before being executed on the orders of Constantine I. Born to a Dacian peasant family in Moesia Superior, Licinius accompanied his close child for a childhood friend, the future Emperor Galerius, on the Persian ex expedition in 298 AD. He was trusted enough by Galerius that in 307 he was sent as an envoy to Maxentius in Italy to attempt to reach some agreement about his legitimate status. Galerius then trusted the eastern provinces to him when he went to deal with Maxentius personally after the death of Flavius Valerius Severus. Upon his return to the east, Galerius elevated Licinius to the rank of Augustus in the west on November 11, 308 AD. He received as his immediate command the provinces of, of Illyricum, Thrace, and Pannonia. In 310, he took command of the war against the Sarmatians, inflicting a severe defeat on them. Then, on the death of Galerius in 311, Licinius entered into an agreement with Maximinus Dia to share the eastern provinces between them. Licinius taking the eastern provinces and Dia taking the Asian. An alliance between Dia and Maxentius forced the two remaining emperors to enter into a formal agreement with each other. So in March 313, Licinius married Flavia Iulia Constantia, half-sister of Constantine the Great at Milan. They had a son, Licinius the Younger, in 315. Dia decided to attack Licinius. Leaving Syria with 70,000 men, he reached Bithynia, although harsh weather he encountered along the way had gravely weakened his army. In April 313, he crossed the Bosporus and went to Byzantium, which was held by Licinius' troops. He took the towns after an 11-day siege. He moved to Heraclea, where he captured, which he captured after a short siege. On April 30th, 313, the two armies clashed at the Battle of Zeralem, and in the ensuing battle, Dia's forces were crushed. Just like a slave, Dia fled to Nicomedia. The war between them only ended with Dia's death in August of 313. As a result of agreement between Licinius and Constantine, Licinius became sole Augustus in the east, while the, his brother-in-law Constantine was supreme in the west. Licinius immediately rushed to the east to reveal to deal with another threat, this time from the Persian Sassanids. In 314, a civil war erupted between Licinius and Constantine. 
Constantine prevailed at the Battle of Cibeli in Pannonia, October 8, 314. In 316, a new war erupted when Licinius and Valerius, Valerius Valens, co-emperor, only for Licinius to suffer a humiliating defeat and a plain of Mardia in Thrace. The emperors were reconciled after these two battles and Licinius had his co-emperor Valens killed. Over the next ten years, the two imperial colleagues maintained an uneasy truce. Licinius kept himself busy with the campaigns against the Sarmatians in 318, but temperatures rose again in 321 when Constantine pursued some Sarmatians who had been ravaging some territory in his realm across the Danube into what was technically Licinius territory. When he repeated this with another invasion, this time by the Goths, he was pillaging Thrace. Licinius complained that Constantine had broken the treaty between them. Constantine wasted no time going on the offensive. Licinius' fleet of 350 ships was defeated by Constantine's, Constantine the First fleet in 323. Then in 324, Constantine, tempted by advanced age and unpopular vices of his colleague, again declared war against him, and having defeated his army of 170,000 men at the Battle of Adrianople, July 3rd, 324 AD, succeeded in shutting him up within the walls of Byzantium. The defeat of the superior fleet of Licinius in the Battle of Hellespont by Crispus, Constantine's eldest son and Caesar compelled his withdrawal to Bithynia, where a last stand was, was made. The Battle of Chrysopolis near Chalcedon, September 18th, resulted in Licinius the first final submission. Licinius was spared due to the pleas of his wife, Constantine's sister, and, and interned at Thessalonica. The next year, Constantine had him hanged accusing him of conspiring to raise troops um, among the barbarians. So visit my site, trustedcoins.com, to buy coins of Licinius and Constantine the Great and beyond. Thank you.